From the depths of the Mariana Trench to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, explosions have been a defining force in both human history and the natural world. Whether it's the atomic bomb that shook the very foundation of warfare, or the force of a volcanic eruption that made nuclear devices look like sparklers, the power of explosions has left an indelible mark on Earth's history. In this video, we'll explore some of the most terrifying explosions ever witnessed, both man-made and natural. And what happens when the Earth's wrath and human ingenuity collide in a cosmic dance of destruction? Hiroshima and Nagasaki August 1945 The world was at war and humanity was about to unleash the first nuclear weapon on Japan. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were both major industrial and military hubs in Japan, contributing heavily to the war effort. Their fates would forever be intertwined with the darkest chapter in human history. The United States, in an effort to bring a swift end to World War II, had been developing an atomic bomb under the codename Manhattan Project. The first bomb, codenamed Little Boy, was a gun-type uranium bomb designed with the destructive power of an entire city in mind. On August 6, 1945, it was dropped over Hiroshima, a city that had remained untouched by previous bombings. When Little Boy detonated, it unleashed an explosion equivalent to 15 kilotons of TNT, vaporizing everything in its immediate vicinity and instantly killing tens of thousands. The devastation was so immense that the shadows of the vaporized victims, forever imprinted on walls and sidewalks, became known as Hiroshima shadows. At the moment of impact, the heat reached around 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit, about 70% the temperature of the sun's surface, and anyone in the center of the explosion simply vanished. Those who survived the initial blast faced horrific burns, radiation sickness, and a profound psychological trauma that would haunt them for the rest of their lives. Three days later, a second bomb, Fat Man, was dropped on Nagasaki. It was more powerful than Little Boy, with a yield of 21 kilotons. The geography of Nagasaki, with its hills and valleys, somewhat limited the bomb's damage, but it still killed an estimated 70,000 people instantly. The radiation exposure in the weeks, months, and years following both bombings continued to take a devastating toll on the survivors. These bombings marked the first and only use of nuclear weapons in warfare, forever altering the course of history and demonstrating the terrifying, destructive potential of these bombs. Bigger, badder, and more impractical. After the atomic bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world entered the nuclear arms race. What followed was a contest to build bigger and badder bombs. Enter the Tsar Bomba, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested. Developed by the Soviet Union, this beast of an explosion had an estimated yield of 57 megatons, about 57 million tons of TNT. To put that into perspective, that's like detonating over 2 million Hiroshima bombs at once. Yet, for all its raw power, the Tsar Bomba was mostly pointless. The bomb was so large that it could only be carried by a specially modified Tupolev Tu-95 bomber. The bomb itself weighed a staggering 27 tons and was nearly 26 feet long, so much so that it couldn't even fit into a standard bomb bay. The Tsar Bomba wasn't just big, and it was inefficient. Despite being the most powerful bomb ever created, its sheer size and weight made it impractical for warfare. The Soviets toned down the bomb's design, using a lead tamper instead of uranium to reduce fallout. So, while it created an explosion of unprecedented magnitude, it didn't have nearly as much radioactive fallout as it could have. To truly understand the absurdity of the Tsar Bomba, you need to remember that its massive yield of 57 megatons would only be about twice as destructive as a 10 megaton bomb. This proved that size didn't necessarily mean better destruction. Sometimes less is more when it comes to nuclear weapons. A modern nuclear arms race. Nuclear weapons today are smaller but still incredibly powerful, with the US and Russia holding the largest stockpiles of around 5,900 and 5,000 244 warheads, respectively. Each missile can carry multiple warheads, each capable of devastating entire cities. 
Despite their destructive potential, these weapons mainly serve as deterrents under the concept of mutually assured destruction. In the event of a nuclear war, however, a nuclear winter would block sunlight, trigger crop failures, and decimate life on Earth. The Doomsday Clock currently stands at 90 seconds to midnight, the closest it's ever been. While we may not be destroying the planet yet, we're dangerously close to the edge. Mother Nature's Explosions Nature, however, is not to be outdone. Volcanic eruptions, while not as flashy as nuclear explosions, are capable of far more destruction. One such eruption occurred in 1883 when Krakatoa erupted with an estimated yield of 200 megatons, 14 times more powerful than the Tsar Bomba. The eruption sent five cubic miles of rock into the atmosphere and darkened the skies for days, lowering global temperatures by almost one degree Fahrenheit for an entire year. The explosion created shockwaves that were felt around the globe, and the eruption's aftermath led to one of the most memorable years in history, the year without a summer. And if you thought Krakatoa was bad, think about the Toba supervolcano in Indonesia, which erupted 74,000 years ago with a yield equivalent to billions of megatons. This eruption cooled the Earth's climate and caused widespread devastation. Volcanic explosions of this magnitude have the power to reshape life on Earth, wiping out entire ecosystems and leading to mass extinctions. Could humans ever do better than nature? When it comes to explosive power, humans have nothing on Mother Nature. As powerful as the Zazar Bomba was, it pales in comparison to events like the Chicxulub asteroid impact, which caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. That event released an estimated 72 teratons of energy, far surpassing any nuclear weapon we've ever made. The asteroid's impact created a crater 93 miles wide and triggered global climate changes that wiped out around 75% of life on Earth. Even if we detonated every nuclear weapon on Earth at once, we still wouldn't be able to match the impact of this asteroid. Earth's natural processes are far more destructive than any man-made weapon, the ultimate doomsday device. But what if we could create something more terrifying than the Tsar Bomba? Enter the Cobalt Bomb, a nuclear weapon that combines the power of a thermonuclear explosion with a massive amount of radioactive fallout. The concept is simple, my place a cobalt-59 tamper around a nuclear bomb. When detonated, the intense neutron flux from the explosion would convert the cobalt into cobalt-60, a radioactive isotope that would contaminate everything in the area for thousands of years. A cobalt bomb would produce far more radioactive fallout than any normal nuclear bomb, making it a true doomsday device. While it wouldn't have the explosive power of the Zor Bomba, its radioactive aftermath could render the Earth uninhabitable for a long time. The Mariana Trench <laughs> If we were to take the world's nuclear arsenal and detonate it in the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, would it have the same effect as a nuclear war on land? Surprisingly, not really. The trench is 36,000 feet deep, and the pressure at that depth is 1,000 times greater than at sea level. Even with all of the 7,300 megatons of explosive yield, the underwater explosion would mostly result in a massive gas bubble that would collapse under the pressure, creating little noticeable impact on the surface. So, no, no explosions visible from space or apocalyptic tsunamis from this little stunt. The universe's most powerful explosions. Finally, we look to the heavens. Supernovae, the explosive deaths of stars, release up to 250 million times the energy of our sun. The gamma ray bursts from these explosions can be so bright that they outshine the entire universe. In 2022, we witnessed a gamma ray burst that was the brightest ever observed originating from a new black hole. But these bursts are a mere prelude to the real show the A2021 LWX super explosion is still ongoing, releasing an energy equivalent to 100 times the solar system's size. If this explosion were to happen closer to us, it would obliterate our entire solar system, a truly apocalyptic event. If you enjoyed exploring the explosive power of humanity's greatest inventions and nature's most intense events, be sure to hit that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing content about the wonders and mysteries of our world. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious. Catch you in the next video.